Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing the quick and easy way to set up OpenBazaar server on Amazon Web Services on a Windows machine using PuTTY. So I'm following this guide here and you can check out this uh, guide, the link is in the description below. First I'm going to go over to Amazon Web Services, AWS dot, or it's console dot, what is it, console dot AWS dot Amazon dot com. And then I'm going to log in. And then I'm going to click EC2 on the left column. And then the first thing I want to do here is spin up a new instance. So I go to Instances. Then I do Launch Instance. I'm going to be choosing Ubuntu 14.04, 64-bit. This is free tier eligible. So if you're new to AWS, you can get this free for one year. I'm going to click Review and Launch. All the default settings are good, so I'm just going to click Launch. I'm going to create a new key pair here. This is how I'm going to log into my AWS instance. I'm naming the key pair OpenBazaar. I'm just going to save it to my disk. And then I want to move this file. I just want to put all um I want to put this in one common place. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder here. I'm going to call it Mario DN tutorial. I'm going to paste that there. Then I also want a little notepad here. I'll be taking notes for the login credentials to my OpenBazaar server. Oops, I don't want notepad plus plus, I just want regular notepad. Okay, so launch instance. Back in AWS, scroll down, you can click view instances. Then we want to take uh, notes of two things here. One is the security group the instance was created under. It's launch, launch wizard one. And then the other thing is the public IP of the instance. Okay. Now I can um, open up PuTTY and I want to create uh, a connection to this AWS instance. This, um, so I'm going to use the IP address and the username. The username by default is Ubuntu. So it's Ubuntu at the IP address and then we're going to need some authentication so we click down here under connection and then SSH and then authentication or just auth there's a private key file for authentication so we want to add in um, the private key which is the PEM file but there's a problem with the PEM well there's no problem with it it's just PuTTY doesn't understand PEM files you have to first convert it so I'm opening up PuTTY gen and first we need to load openbazaar.pem into this putty uh putty putty key generator putty gen um you'll have to change this to show all files openbazaar.pem we're opening it up and it says it's successfully imported foreign key and then you don't have to add anything here if you're really paranoid you could add a key uh like a a passphrase here but note that you would have to enter that in every time you connect to your OpenBazaar server. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but if you're parano paranoid, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's not a bad idea. And this just says, are you sure you don't want to passphrase? I'm going to click yes, and then save it in the same directory as openbazaar.ppk. And then we can just close that, and now we can add in the private file here, the ppk. And then one more thing I want to do is save this session back in session. I'm going to give it a name here, Open Bazaar AWS, and then click Save. It's saved right here, so I'm highlighting it, and it's loaded. Well, I guess it, yeah, it's loaded, so I'm just going to, going to click Open. And then this is the first time I've connected to this AWS instance, so I'm just going to, uh, Putty's like, are you sure you trust this server? It's a new fingerprint, so I'm going to click Yes. It's using the imported imported open SSH key and we're in. 
So now we want to get Mario Dian's um, beautiful um, install uh, script. I'm using, um, I just have some notes here from my blog. I want to copy this. Um, we're using wget and then we're downloading the OpenSH from GitHub. In PuTTY, if you don't know, um, if you have something on the clipboard, you just right click and it pastes. So we've got the bash file now, OB setup. We can um, make it executable using the chmod command chmod plus x ob setup dot sh. And then we just run it by calling it open ob setup dot sh. Then it's interactive, it says, do you want to install this? We do yes. Then we create a username and password. And I'm going to add this in my notes here. You'll need this later. Username, I'm going to make Chris and the password. I'm going to make I like rusty spoons. Just keep it really simple. I'm going to paste this in here by right clicking. Copy that. Paste it in. Right clicking. And then I want to type it in for the second time to make sure it pasted correctly. OK, so this install script will take about five minutes, so I'll pause the video. The install script is complete. So now I want to open, uh, I just want to follow these instructions at the bottom to open some ports on the AWS instance. So I'm going to go to, uh, back at the console, I'm going to go to security groups. I'm going to look at the security group the OpenBazaar instance was created under its launch, launch wizard one. So I want to find launch wizard one and edit the inbound rules. Just add a button somewhere, there it is, okay. So I want to create a custom UDP rule. The port range is, I'm bringing up that console. Um, in PuTTY, if you uh, select something, it's automatically copied. So I do control V from anywhere. Oops, that was a premature save. Let me go back to edit custom UDP rule. And then we want a, um, a, uh, a new rule, a custom TCP rule, um, and that rule is 18466 from any IP, add another rule, a TCP rule, this one's going to be a range, 18469 to 18470 from anywhere. And that's it, I'm going to cl uh, close and save that. Okay, so that should be good. Hopefully I haven't um, blocked SSH. I, I thought SSH was supposed to be in there. Uh, we'll see in a second. Okay, I think I have blocked SSH. Let me go back here, edit this. I need TCP rule for port 22. This is unresponsive. Okay, let me just open the connection again. I'll go back to PuTTY. load the session, open it. Okay, we're in. So I want to start the OpenBazaar service and I do uh, sudo, that's to get administrative privileges, sudo service, then the name of the service, OpenBazaar um, start. First I want to see if it's running, so I'll do status. It's not running, it doesn't run by default. Well, it, it does once like you restart your instance, but the install script does not start it. You need to start it yourself. Okay, it's started now, and now the moment moment of truth. We open OpenBazaar on our local computer. This is just connected to the OpenBazaar server, which is bundled by default. We want to connect this OpenBazaar client to. I did the wrong one. Settings. We want to connect this OpenBazaar client to the OpenBazaar server on Amazon. So we go to server settings here. This is an advanced uh, menu settings, advanced. Click server settings and then this is an old one. I'm going to delete that. Server configurations. I'm going to create a new one. Name it AWS. Server IP. 
uh, wrong window. There we go. Bring up my notes. It's the public IP address. Username is Chris. Password I like Rusty Spoons. I'm gonna save changes and it'll, it'll attempt to connect, and we're connected. So from here, I can just go through this. I'm just clicking through, but if you're creating a store, you'd want to pay attention to those and set your store name, etc. But we are connected to our OpenBazaar server. It, uh, this process usually takes a few minutes. It's generating keys. But there we go, we're in. This is our OpenBazaar store. We can go here and change. Uh, we can click Become a Store here. Oh, I guess that's just a page, but you turn your page into a store and add some listings. But that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or problems, check out the OpenBazaar Slack channel. That's slack.openbazaar.org. And have a great day.